Hey, this is the Uber Geek, and you're listening to Rockin' Live and Local with PA Dave. How did you get so far? I guess you could call them a super group. I don't know uh, if you would say that, but you got two guys from Candlebox, you, um, Kevin Martin and Adam Curry, and then you got Morgan Rose from Seven Dust, and then uh, Lenny's from Infinite Staircase. So um, they just came out with a, an EP. I was part of their, I bought into their Indigo project. So uh, that was a pretty good tune. I really liked that. Uh, then before that, we had Last Day Left, Let It Burn, and then we had. Two from Mr. Garrett Ryan, Have a Little Faith, and Pissing in the Wind. We got two more lined up here for for Mr. Garrett. Uh, and then we have his last request also lined up after them, which is a little bit of Linkin Park. I know I know you are a big Linkin Park fan too, right? If I remember correctly. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, buddy. That's For, for all you listening and... If you are out of Facebook world, because I'm sure it's all over Facebook, if you had tickets for the Lincoln Park Hunting Party Tour, 
They're canceled. Chester hurt his leg. So, um... Oh, I, how do you do that? I don't know. I really haven't delved into it too much. I know it was a pretty serious injury, and as of this morning, they canceled um, Pittsburgh and a New York show, and now I saw a post saying that the entire tour is canceled. Ooh. So, hopefully he's... Hopefully he gets better. I mean... You know, we don't. You don't want to. I don't ever want to wish ill will on anyone, uh, except for the fact that uh, I had tickets to go see them next week. Except for <laughs> the fact that many fans are going to be pissed right now. <laughs> I don't, I'm not pissed. I'm just. I'm just kind of not, not pissed, but you know, we're anxious to see them. Oh yeah, that's one of the bands. That's one of my bucket list bands. Who's Who's one of your bucket list bands? Do you have any that you'd love to see them before you? Before they're not tour- touring anymore or whatever. Deftones. Of course. I should have known that. <laughs> I love Deftones, man. Ever since they came out in the 90s. I never got much into Deftones. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. Well, you know, I had a lot of skateboard buddies growing up. Right. So, you know, they were in the skateboard scene and, you know, Deftones is kind of in that era and. So I, ever since then, you know, when I was in high school, Deftones was was the was the shit, man. And you know, they they came out with their last album, I believe, Diamond Eyes, or and then they, you know, that was that. And then they're coming out, I guess, again with some new tracks. I don't know what the album's called, but uh-huh. that was one of my favorite '90s bands, you know, because I grew up, you know, in the '90s. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm still a a big Metallica fan. Always been, always will. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I'll always be. That was one of my first bands that they called heavy metal back then. That was heavy metal, Metallica. That was, right. My my first band was Ugly Kid Joe, Metallica, Pearl Jam, and Nirvana. Those were my big first rock bands. Right. I'd you know? love to. That's actually the biggest biggest bucket list group is the Metallica I have not seen them live and I'd love to go see them but uh, hopefully they'll hopefully they'll come around here soon I mean they're coming out with another album in the next couple of years so maybe they'll man, man let me tell you Metallica will never die <laughs> I think I think that they're our they generation they're 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 our generation Rolling Stones I think I think those guys are standing the test Basically, of time. Yeah. Most definitely. Oh. And I don't I don't know if there's any any uh <laughs> John just messaged me. I grew up in the fifties and sixties. I was a hippie and smoked pie and took L S D. Nice John. <laughs> yeah, of course you grew up in the shit, the sixties, seventies. That's some even, good music yeah. back then too. I love me some yeah. C C R some CCR. Some... That's, that's, it's 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 the timeline of music, man. I mean, dating back to Elvis Presley and the blues, you know. All right. That's where it all began. That's how it all got started. Um, you know who's coming around around my area? Actually, I just heard today they just announced it is uh, Motley Crue and, and Alice Cooper together. Talk about a tour, right? What? Are you saying the, the bands, or are they playing the band together? They're bands. The bands, Motley Crue and Alice Cooper, oh. are touring together, oh, and they're going to be in my area, I don't know, soon. I'm not 100%. I forget when the date was. Yeah. That's got to be like a redemption tour. Shit. Well, Crue's done. I mean, this is their last tour, so... I mean, right? I'm. So, I mean, Alice Cooper. You know, he's up there with him too. Oh yeah, I I really dig Alice Cooper. I like his popular stuff. I'm not really into all his.